I'm Iris Ruth Pastor, and we're here today with Seth Nelson for a little small talk. And Seth is a local attorney specializing in divorce and also representing children with disabilities versus the school district. He also has an interesting sideline that we're going to be speaking about. So hello, Seth. Good morning. It's a pleasure to have you with us, and we're going to be talking about your work as a volunteer watchdog. And many people talk about being a community watchdog, but you're actually doing it. And I was wondering what, what that entails and why you're doing it. Well, there's so much going on today in government. It's hard for us to get all the information from the newspapers, and sometimes you just have to go get the information yourself. And what I've done is I've just focused on the fire and police and pension board in the city of Tampa and the general employee pension board in the city of Tampa to see whether they were investing in any companies doing business with Iran or Sudan. And why, why were you interested particularly in those countries? Well, I went to an APAC conference a couple of years ago and I learned that the state of Florida had passed a law that said that the state of Florida pension board had to divest from any holdings in Iran or Sudan that were doing companies that were doing business with Iran and Sudan in the oil and gas industries or minerals and also in the military industry. Obviously there's national security implications with that as well as security for Israel. So they can invest in other companies but just not those type of companies. Is exactly. that correct? That's exactly correct. And what they do is the State Board of Administration every quarter publishes on their website the exact list of companies that you cannot invest in. And if you, if the pension boards are invested in those companies, then they simply need to sell those holdings and divest from them. So does that cover Hillsborough County and the City of Tampa pension funds also because that's a state law? No, it doesn't. The state law covers the state pensions and then it's up to the municipalities and the local governments to pass their own. And the City of Tampa, the Fire and Police Pension Board just last week changed their investment guidelines and they have basically adopted the state law and they are no longer able to invest in those holdings. And if they had any holdings, which they do not, which is the good news, but if they did, then they would simply have to divest from those holdings. So I want to ask you a question. I heard that one of the fund managers had this reaction when, when uh, you were talking about investing in Iran and Sudan and he said, um, how much is it going to matter when just the city of Tampa resists this? And I was wondering what you have to say about that kind of statement. Yeah, what you're talking about is the General Employee Pension Board uh, had a meeting and uh, in the, that board has a, in, uh, an investor, who a consultant who helps them with all of their investing. And I met with that board because I was asking them to follow and to do what police and fire just did, to divest from Iran and Sudan. And he said, well, what does it matter if just the city of Tampa does this? And obviously he misses the point because the point is, is it's the aggregate of everybody, every municipality, every county, every state in the United States not investing in these companies that are doing business with uh, uh, countries that obviously don't have our interests at heart. Do most other states have the same law that Florida put into effect? There is uh, other states that are uh, enacting it. I don't have the exact numbers on those states. But the key issue on this is that if we work collectively, we can truly make an impact. And that's not just true in the pension arena. It's in true in everything we do. So that being said, do you have another project that you're keeping an eye on that seems to be simmering that you would like to tell us about? Well, right now I'm really focused on the General Employee Pension Board and trying to get them to divest in, from these holdings because currently right now uh, two of their international fund managers are invested in holdings that show up on the SBA's list of scrutinized companies. So I like to tackle one thing at a time, do a really good job at it, and then move on from there. I'm Iris Ruth Pastor, and this has been a production of Let My People Know, an outreach and engagement initiative.